you knew you were going to score again, obviously. <laughs> to come out like this tonight, uh, to see the, the way that the attack flowed, the way that you guys were able to look a little bit like the LFC, LAFC we've seen over the last few years, and also see Denis kind of break out. You just uh, address that a little bit. Yeah, I'll try to break that down. I think, I think sure, um, last couple of weeks it has been difficult. Um, I thought their preseason was a normal preseason. You're progressing and working towards um, a goal or certain goals in certain phases of the game. I thought, you know, even though we had a week less than most teams, uh, our preseason was short and sharp, and we achieved our objectives. Um, we were able to see most of that against Seattle. Um, then, obviously, a complete break of everything um, in Salt Lake. Um, and then against Kansas City, OK, a lot of effort. But what we saw, not exactly what we, we weren't happy with. And that continued in Minnesota. Um, and then that brings us today. So during the week, we talked about um, key elements of our game that make us good. And when you get back to that, we talked about positional integrity, um, playing in a disciplined manner for 90 minutes. Um, you don't really need to talk about scoring goals and creating chances. That, that is something that is in our DNA. That's something we do every day in training. And that comes um, when your defensive organization is proper and disciplined and, and organized. That usually takes care of um, the offensive org when you recover the ball. And, and that's, sorry, and that's what I saw tonight. And Yeah, he was close. I mean, if you look at stats, um, he should have scored already in the first couple of games. Um, the past couple of games, um, he did not, but he did tonight. He could have scored a couple more. But I thought his overall effort, his decision making on the ball, when to pass, when to dribble and shoot himself, was phenomenal. And um, his effort was there. I think you saw a very aggressive player, a player um, that the league got to know, fear, and respect. And that's what we saw again tonight. Coach, with uh, Omar on international duty, Sergey got the, the start today. Can you talk about his performance and, and what he gave you over the course of his, uh, his time out there? Um, excellent performance from him tonight. Um, he brought an energy and aggressiveness um, and a calmness and um, a load of experience as well. He already has. He brought that tonight to the team, and that's something we desperately needed. And um, you know, he was fantastic. Uh, sitting on a yellow card, and I know how aggressive he can get also in training which made us a little nervous um, that he could get a second. But certainly his performance was uh, one of the best he's had, and uh, we we're very happy with that. And um, like, we would love to use him more. Um, certainly a, a luxury for any coach to have a player like that um, who has come from the bench more often than he started. But I, I'm, I'm certain you'll see more of that Sergi and more often frequently this season. Hey, Steve. So although the summer is in a couple months, there's been growing rumors about Olivier Giroud coming to the club. Is there anything you can talk about that? And if not, how would you see a player like Giroud if he were to come to LAFC and fit in the style of play? I can't talk about it. Um, maybe you can rope John Thornton here and he can expand on, on, on your question a little bit. But um, yeah, any player of, of that caliber will help any team. And um, he's obviously uh, proven a lot in his career. Um, is a true reference, a true nine, uh, certainly a position and a player we're looking for. So um, I think any player of that caliber will help us uh, in any MLS team. Steve over here. Um, Ante talked about sort of an over eagerness within the group to score and guys sort of like just running up, running out of the coverage, you know, the fast wingers. Seemed tonight there was much more poise and patience in the group and the build up allowed for runners to the back post to get there and create some dangerous chances. This is more of what you want to see from your group tonight? Is this what you expect from them? And what, why do you think they settle in tonight? Yeah, I, I guess I shouldn't say this as a coach, but very rarely do things work out in the games that we work on during the week. But this week was one of them. Um, it's exactly what we worked on. Um, having a little more patience, um, building, building the game from the back to the middle and then in the final third. Um, it's called building for a reason. You're preparing your attack. And I thought the, the boys did a great job tonight of preparing each attack and waiting for the right moment to break lines, um, to break the final line, and then obviously to attack the goal. So more patience. Um, 
Uh, I would say a little, a little more cleverness as well, uh, when to go and when to put your foot on the brake. So we were quite happy with that. And um, it, it was a small step tonight. Um, some things went really well. Some things we're still, we need to improve on, and, and we will address that this week. Hi, Coach. Uh, kind of expanding on that, specifically on Denny, though. Um, last season, when he you know, had a couple games without scoring, a lot of the talk was he's thinking too much. He needs to just not think and play freely. Um, is that kind of what you've been talking about this week, or is there anything that you were focused on to get him back on the score sheet, or was it simply, you know, we know Denny's going to get back on the score sheet, business as usual? No, actually just the opposite of what you described. Um, he needs to think more and, and, uh, and uh, react less. Um, he, yes, he is an instinctual player, and some players are, are, have that element of surprise, creativity, however you want to categorize it. But um, Denny needs to stay within our structure. And he did that. And he was fantastic tonight. And um, when he does, um, and when everybody does, and we buy into one single idea and not 11 different ideas, every individual looks stronger. And that was the objective this week. And what I told the boys before the game, if we can achieve that, we'll be happy. And sure enough, um, I saw a lot of smiles in the locker room. So, Hey, Coach. Uh, congrats on the win. David Martinez gets his first assist tonight. Could you talk a little bit about what he's brought into the group you know, at such a young age? Yeah, very young. Just turned 18, uh, moved to a foreign country um, in a crazy, wonderful city like LA. Um, all kind of ball in the one. So there's been a lot going on in his life right now. And um, I was speaking to Ante and Mark on the bench. I remember what I was doing at that age, and it wasn't what he's doing. Um, and so it, there's, we're very patient with him, but I think everybody sees his, his ability and his talent is phenomenal. And um, we, will, we will progress David along, David along as, as fast as we can, but always keeping an eye on, on the person, David, make sure he's, he's progressing as well and happy and settled in um, because he has a lot of potential and is going to be a phenomenal player in this league and hopefully elsewhere.